Welcome to Tentative Title with Tim. This is a podcast about creativity, about process, about filmmaking, and about screenwriting. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Let's get into it. So today's topic is what to do when things don't go your way. Uh, This can kind of be in a broader sense, like uh, before I talked about how all of us need to pivot because of this pandemic and um, how a new world of creating content is is right at our doorstep, uh, which is an exciting time, but it's also a very frustrating time because um, the way in which we've been taught to create things is now being challenged and something that we may be very comfortable with doing is no longer the thing that we are able to do anymore. So that's on a broader scale. On a smaller scale, when it comes to writing, sometimes we really want a story to go a certain way. Uh, We have this romanticized idea in our heads uh, from a vision Uh, from a picture, from uh, a bit of reading we might have done uh, that got us really excited about a subject. And we really want the story to go a certain way. And we really want it to resolve uh, either positively or negatively. uh, And it just doesn't go that way. Most of the time, it doesn't go that way. No matter how much we try to force our our will on the story and that's a a very exciting thing to do um is to let go of what we want the story to be so today i just wanted to talk about you know what to do Uh, first off it if it's not going to go your way sometimes the you have to just step back and consider why it's not going the way you thought it was going to go. Sometimes it's because there wasn't enough research. Uh, Sometimes it's because um, there was a character trait that is undermining uh, their overall motivation for who they are in in the story, uh, for what they want, for what they need as characters, because sometimes we want to have a character... Uh, do something that is very, very bad, but they haven't gone through that process of getting to that point because the character in general is a very good, sweet character. So, like with Breaking Bad, uh, Walter White started off as a normal guy, but then over the course of seasons, well, not even over the course of seasons, over the course of a season, you see him begin to unravel and it just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going and you wouldn't be able to just make that turn uh in a story without it being earned in some way shape or form by his life unraveling before him and him having to make certain choices in order to benefit himself and his family the other part of it could be that we're just not a match for the story that we're trying to tell. Now, not to say that our interests can't be in a story that we are not able to tell, because there are plenty of uh, genres that I'm interested in, but it doesn't mean that I'm good at writing those genres. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be a, kind of a jack-of-all-trades where no matter what story I'm given, that I can find a way in, in which I can at least create a first draft of my idea uh, and my take on on the story but I've noticed that it really depends on what you gravitate towards as well sometimes it doesn't work out there uh, have recently been treatments that I've written for uh, for films that I thought I had a handle on And when I was done, it turned out that I actually did not have a handle on what the genre was or how to approach the genre. And that's okay. It was my first time trying 
to write a story in that that genre the the genre was a western and as much as i have seen plenty of westerns and thought that i had a handle on what a western was there were some elements that i think i was missing because of the fact that i've seen so many westerns and didn't want to go down the same path as that a western goes down but that's the genre i have to address those uh, those uh story beats of a western if it's going to be a western so um i may come back to it eventually but I, right now as a as a first try it just it didn't work out and as much as i i tried to make it work it just it was not something that i could do i have friends who are great at doing that genre uh, they are able to, to take the uh, you know the old West story, and they've adapted it to modern times, and they've written stuff that has been in you know the the old West, and it's just it it's something that they know how to do. They have uh, um, uh, an idea of how the characters are supposed to talk and and how uh, things are supposed to happen in the plot and and all that kind of stuff. And um, so, yeah, it just didn't work out. So was that any reason to give up? Was that any reason to uh, just throw up my hands and say, you know what, I'm just not going to do anything. I'm not going to write this story. I'm not going to be a filmmaker. I'm not going to be a screenwriter. I'm just not going to do anything. And let the spiral of doubt and, uh, you know, depression sink in? No. Because there are many more stories out there. There's many more things that I am able to write. There's many more things that I'm um, able to, uh, you know, like, my voice is still there somewhere. And it might not show up in terms of the story I'm trying to write. And... It may be that I have to shelve the the whole idea because I just wasn't ready for it, and that's okay. Sometimes we have these ideas, and we're really excited about them, and we really just want to get them on paper, and it's good to get those initial ideas on paper so you don't forget. And, you know, like I talked about the uh, idea document that I that I have when I have this really great idea that I want to develop. And sometimes I just, I don't come back to that idea document for months, maybe even years, because I just didn't have the proper understanding of the story or uh, how to treat the story that I just wasn't ready for it. And this has happened to many ideas that, that I've had where I just, I was immature about how to approach the subject matter. And, the, you know, and I'm talking about ideas that I had when I was like in my 20s and, 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 and like 30s and, you know, starting to go to film school and then realizing like how to tell a story properly and uh, all of this stuff. And uh, finally, I came back to that idea and, and it just clicked. I'm like, oh, I know what to do with this. I've lived enough life. I've written enough that I feel confident to approach this idea. And that process is never going to stop. I don't expect that I'm ever going to come to an idea. And even if I am confident at the beginning, I know that there's going to be a point in the middle of the process where I'm going to doubt myself. Uh, I'm going to think that I don't have any talent, that I don't know what I'm doing. And then I stew on that for a week or two. And then eventually I, you know, decide this is dumb. Let me just keep going with it and see where it goes. Um, and then I end up finishing the script. Um, but, you know, like I said before, sometimes you're, you're going down uh, a, a point of view of the story that you think is interesting. And sometimes it, the more interesting perspective of the story is from another character's point of view or telling another story, or maybe the story that you're trying to tell is actually a setup for the actual story that you should be uh, pursuing. So, a lot of this, I, I just want to 
encourage everybody to not, you know, fall into despair because things don't work out. Um, because things are going to fall apart all the time. I mean, art is a messy thing. And I don't know why we expect this uh, kind of glorified, um, you know, ease of, of creating, you know, something that is iconic or of, um, you know, that's going to be lasting for generations. You know, like I, I the, it never is. It, I don't believe that it's ever been smooth. Like everything that is worth uh, its weight in in art and in in message and in um, just its ability to just stay with you has never come easy, and it's always going to be a struggle, and it's always going to be uh, you know days of just not knowing what you're doing, um, but always finding your way through the darkness, and that that's what continuing to write does. It 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 clears the way of the darkness and and as you're clearing the darkness like things start to open up and and the lights turn on and sparks you know start to light the flame of what the story actually is and what the themes are and and it just it's a very exciting thing to create a piece of art and if we approach it as something exciting and not as something grueling or as something that um you know is just painful to do Granted, there is pain involved, and there is some grueling elements to it involved, but keeping the point of view of this eventually is going to be something that is cathartic um, to either yourself or to an audience who's going to um, read it or who's going to watch it eventually, that that is the, the way to go. So, yeah, things are going to go wrong. And we should expect it, and, you know, this is what we signed up for. So I hope everybody's doing well, um, and, uh, yeah, please uh, stay safe, wash your hands, uh, you know, wear the mask, that entire thing, and we'll come out on the other side. Until next time, bye.